Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, that is just delish. And you know why? Hi, I'm Sean O with Rest Equip Pro. Today we're going to make Sean O's Super Guac. I've been making this recipe for about 20 years. There's an awful lot of restaurants out there using this recipe. One time I was eating guacamole and I said to myself, you know, boy, you could use a little more flavor. So I decided that I would just put more stuff in it. So this is how it goes. We're going to make guacamole. We're going to use the Robocoop R2 dice. We're going to start with onions. Get a half an onion. You have a regular avocado. First point, very important. Let's get the, the little pip of the stem out of there. That could end up in the mix and the blade hits that and it won't blend. Right? Then we're going to cut it in half right down the center. Remember the pit in the middle is what keeps the blade from touching you. Turn that in half. You have two halves. We then take the knife right on the pit. Boom. There it goes. We've got tomatoes. We've got onion. We've got jalapeno. We've got a little lemon. We've got some lime. We've got Shano super secret spice for guacamole. And with that then we're going to put it all in the bowl of the R2 dice. We're going to whiz it up and we're going to make some really neat guacamole. We need some cilantro. Looks like a big handful of cilantro. I use almost all of it. We can throw the stems in there too. I love cilantro. You can't overdo it. For those who don't like it, trust me. We're going to do a jalapeno. I do the same thing with them. They're whole. We want a little heat here, so we just need a couple of pieces. I'm leaving the stems and pulp inside. We're going to need a tomato. I've got that. Couple cloves of garlic. Some people like more, some people like less. Two cloves, I like it. It's just about right. We're going to take the onions. What else? Oh, we've got some tomatillos. I like that. Tomatillos are little green tomatoes. They're not really a tomato. Some people call them green tomatoes. Lemon. I had a little. Traditional is lime. I'm going to put a couple of limes in. I like lemon and I squeeze the lemon into my hand like that so you can catch the seeds. And I do a couple of halves of lemon because the lemon goes in your guac and it keeps it really vibrant and green and fresh all day long and in the fridge. It'll look really good the next day if you want to keep it. Do the juice of a lime. Now we've got a bunch of half avocados here. You could use a scooper, you could use a spoon. It's one old fashioned method we really kind of like. You just squeeze the meat out of the skin just like that and away you go. So I use eight avocados in this recipe, a tomato, one onion, some tomatillos, garlic, juice of a lemon, juice of a lime, the cilantro, and then at the end I'm going to put in Shano's super secret spice for guac. All right, I've got my avocados in. I'm full. I'm ready to go. I'm going to grab my super, super secret Shano spice. So I've got some lemon pepper, salt, regular pepper, and a little bit of Mrs. Dash. We're going to take the lid. We're going to start pulsing it so we can start bringing it down. I'm going to hit it about eight or ten times because we want to get those big chunks down, get it start to roll, and get it start moving here. Big pieces get smaller. Then we're just going to let it go. And away it goes. So we'll let it run about 30 to 60 seconds until it looks real good, it's starting to look real smooth. We can make it really smooth. The longer you run, the smoother it gets. That's what a food processor does. You know, and there's a reason you saw me put that together and the reason we put all that stuff in there, and I'll tell you why. Who wants to eat boring guacamole? I mean, really, have you ever eaten a raw avocado? It's pretty tasteless. When I was a little kid, I just never understood. It just didn't taste like anything. So when I made my guacamole, I figured, let's pump it up. Let's put in some flavor. Let's make it a little more than everybody else. So this is what we've got. Go ahead and take a look. You can see in there, it's real smooth. You can see all the spices and good stuff distributed throughout. So we've got flavor. We've got a lot of stuff going on there. So let's see what we've got. I'm going to take a taste. Let's do the first dip. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, that is just delish. And you know why? Because I'm Sean O, the Rest Equip Pro.